All right, so I know I made a video of this a couple years ago, so a lot of you that are new to my channel have not seen my ball mill setup. And um, I have it with a speed controller. And this is a lithium ion battery that I made myself. It is a 12 volt. Um, as you can see there, uh, this little guy here, it's 12.2 volts right now, but it gives you your individual cells and stuff. Um, a lithium ion, so it'll actually run really well on this ball mill. Uh, pretty much for this ball mill, it is just those little coasters that you get off of like a plastic three-tier shelf or whatever. And then the jar you can get on Amazon or if you buy the Harbor Freight um, ball mill, it comes with one. Uh, pretty much this guy rotates like that. And then I use some rubber bands and then I have a little drill motor that I had. 3D printed this guy here and then I hot glued it to the board. Um, it's kind of loose now so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. But here's some red cedar pet bedding that I made the other day. I have it labeled as red cedar. So this guy here, it is not milled yet. It is just the uh, red cedar uh, charcoal. And it's thick and everything. You know, it's not broken down or anything like that. This is how I store it for when I need it because it takes hours um, to make this stuff. So that's why I have it pretty much set up. But here's the final product after ball milling it. And I'm going to explain that a little bit. This right here, you have to be careful because you can definitely breathe this in. This is like what you call moon dust. So it is extremely fine. And you can tell how fine it is because... Yes, my finger is kind of dirty because of the charcoal, but we're going to go ahead and just dip it in there. I'm not even going to like pick any up. I'm just going to dip it in there. That's how fine it is. It is like touching flash powder. It is so fine that it is, uh, it just like sticks to your finger. Like it is like super, super fine. You can see like little particles floating. And somehow or another, whenever I make my red cedar, it has this like little sparkle to it, almost like it has aluminum in it or something, which is super nice. Right there on the camera, I'm not sure if it's picking it up. You can see the little um, dust debris or whatever. That is how fine this, uh, this powder is, or this charcoal is. And that is extremely important when it comes to making your black powder. This right here is considered air float. I do to making really good black powder or rather charcoal is you want to use a slow setting you don't want to use it too fast some people will tell you that you need to have like 90 rotations per minute or whatever the case is I have mine set to 27 obviously there's my uh, ball mill is not hooked up but uh, I can show you real quick what that would look like that's what I use to, to uh, ball mill my charcoal and that's how fast you want it to go not too fast, but just fast enough because you want the media in there to tumble and crack and break into the charcoal. If it spins too fast, it's going to stick to the wall and it's going to keep spinning with it. Therefore, it's not going to be effective. So whenever it goes slow enough, it tumbles and it actually breaks up the powder, which gives you this extremely fine dust right here. And that right there will yield a very good fast black powder because it's able to incorporate the potassium nitrate and the sulfur a lot better than it would if it was such a big grain uh, granule like this so what you want but um yeah if you guys have any questions or are interested in any of my stuff here um just ask below and i'll pretty much answer the questions but anyways that's going to be it for this video i just wanted to show you guys really quickly my little setup for my uh charcoal anyways thanks for watching